Let me give you an example of how the Hebrew is helping us to connect dots together, to connect various parts of the scriptures together. So Isaiah 34 is a description of how God is undoing creation. Everything is kind of going back into chaos and confusion and disorder as a result of the people's rebellion against God. And so he's going to bring about a punishment. And this punishment takes the form of kind of an uncreation of the world, as it were. And in order that we might understand what God is doing, Isaiah chooses two words that are going to send us back all the way to Genesis chapter 1, verse 2, when everything was formless and void. So in Isaiah 34, 11, we read that he shall stretch the line of confusion over it and the plumb line of emptiness. Now, in Hebrew, those two words for confusion and emptiness are tohu and vohu. And those two words occur together in Genesis 1 verse 2, where at the beginning, there's water everywhere, and it was formless and void. It was tohu and it was vohu. Now, Isaiah, in using that language that sends us back to Genesis 1 verse 2, is in indicating that that's what God is doing, basically. He's uncreating the world. He's unforming it. He's bringing about disorder in order that from that, he might bring about a new creation, which is exactly what he talks about in Isaiah 35, where a new creation comes about as a result of the work of the Messiah, his son, who brings about a new creation for us.